Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica looking suspiciously vanilla. Well, don't worry, it's not gonna stay that way for long. Hmm, I do enjoy me a smell of fresh peepers in the morning. Wait, so if you guys can hear the sound in the background, oh my god, that's actually the, because there's like a freaking hurricane above my house at the moment, but oh well. Videos are not going to make themselves. Today, I have a special selection of mods that I've curated for you guys, which I believe you might enjoy taking from the Nexus website. So, why don't we just jump right in and go through them? Now, do you ever feel like you can't truly bring the Call of Duty no scoper out of you in Subnautica? Do you feel like your skill in the game would increase at least tenfold if you could continuously twirl around your knife and look at it like this is freaking CSGO? If you do, well, then this mod is for you. It is simply called tool inspection, and by clicking the I button, you can, well, continuously inspect your tools. If you wanted to ever do the quick tool swapping and then flip them around like you're about to rush B, now you can finally recreate a video where you just stare into the flashlight until you blind yourself. Okay, I like it. I mean, if you combine this with the colorful tool mod that I've showed you previously, you actually have something pretty fun going on here. All right, so you got your trick shots down. What's next? Do you ever feel like Somatica is just a little too easy? Like all the recipes are always the same, and so you already know what to expect before the game even begins. Ah yes, just the way I like it. Introducing the randomizer mod. Well, it, it does pretty much exactly what you think it would do. For every craftable item, the recipe is... Yeah, that, that, that's randomized. Either way, this not only applies to the fabricator, but also to the modification station, where you will suddenly need I don't know, the freaking furled papyrus seed times four and alien feces to build fins, which I, I don't want to know how those work, honestly. But yeah, if you're looking for a bit of randomness in your life and you feel like Sonic has maybe gotten a little stale, this might be the mod for you. Anyway, moving right along, do you love your Seamoth? And I mean, like, a lot. Do you wish your Seamoth had more functionality, perhaps? Do you want your Seamoth to essentially win the game for you? Well, I don't know about the last one, but the first one we can certainly achieve with the Seamoth Enhancement System. What this mod does is... It, it's a lot. It essentially turns your Seamoth into a Tesla. By using the in-game fabricators, the player can now craft something called the Seamoth Link and a few additional upgrades, such as the mechanical module, electronic module, electrical module, and a bunch of other stuff in the modification station. Now, once you equip all these, and you actually put the Seamoth link on the player so you can, well, link up with your Seamoth, I guess, you will notice that the driving experience is a little different. There is some very expanded UI on the screen to the right, which you can actually cycle through using buttons to display, well, the kind of unit that you prefer the most. You can turn on lights, not only short range, this way, but also long range, if you want to see something that's particularly far in the distance. You can put cruise control on, like right now I'm not pressing W, and it can actually switch between green mode, which is a bit slower, or turbo mode, which is really fast. And you can even freaking gear up or down, as you can see on the screen right now. If I go to the lowest gear, the Seamoth will actually move super slowly, so if you're really trying to maneuver around an area, instead of tapping W or just tapping forward, you can literally just gear down and move slowly if, if you so desire. Now let's be honest here, for an average player this might be a bit of an overkill, but if you love the Seamoth and you want something that's fairly immersive in the world and that could actually be a part of the vehicle, look no further than this mod. Now with Pride Month currently going on and all, I was wondering if there is any way that we could express the celebration within Subnautica and <laughs> As it so happens, there apparently is. With the mod Pride Nautica, as you might have noticed, some of the creatures are now rainbow colored. And when I say some of the creatures, I mean like pretty much all of the creatures. Yeah, that's a completely natural color. Hey, the, the gasopod is just expressing its pride, I guess. It's also very shiny for some reason. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever seen a Reaper look quite as fabulous. Does it make it less terrifying? Probably not. But you know what? At, at least it looks cool while it's eating you, so... <laughs> hey, I, if, if this is something that you'd like for some reason in your world, well then, with this mod, I, I guess you can have it. <laughs> Good stuff. Alright, and finally, do you just feel like the original Somnatica look? It's just not doing it for you. I mean, the game looks beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's just kind of missing something. It's missing something to make it look a bit more like the cinematic trailer. Well, if you're looking for that, 
look no further because this shader preset is attempting to achieve exactly that look. This, my friends, is the cinematic overhaul and just as I mentioned, its goal is to essentially recapture the more cinematic look and feel that Subnautica has in the, well, cinematic trailer, I guess. Now, whether it achieves or fails at doing that, I suppose you can kind of form your own opinion, but I'm always in for shaders that are, you know, playable, as in you can actually play the game with them and they're not gonna hurt your eyes just by looking at the screen. And this one, at least in some areas, certainly seems to fit that bill. I mean, yes, some of the colors do tend to get a bit washed out, but in return, you get a lot more of this, like, bright, shiny, reflective, and I guess you would call it cinematic look. And again, as opposed to the usual shaders that I review on the channel, it's at least not going to give you a headache if you spend a couple of minutes playing on with it. Anyways, here's a quick montage of Furious of the game without and with the shader, so that you can form your own opinion on whether you like it or not. But with that, that brings us to the end of the video, so I seriously hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing, all those would be very much appreciated. And no worries, I am working on the shoutout video, hopefully it should be coming sometime next week, it's just gotten a little bit delayed because of some scheduling issues. Anyway, you'll understand when you actually see the video. With that, I'm gonna wish you all a beautiful rest of the day, and I will see you in whatever next video I make. Bye-bye.